Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Attic Man Hunter here and um, decided to just do kind of like a little driving. It's a nice day out, so. What I want to talk about is problems versus solutions. I don't know about you, but I personally am getting very tired of listening to uh, all of the problems. All you hear about or see is people talking about problems in your daily life, on the news, uh, in the newspaper, anything. There is nothing that's, I mean, that is not going to do anything. As long as you keep talking about the problems, all it is going to do is reinforce the problem. If you start talking about solutions, then you can actually get somewhere. You, you kind of understand what I'm saying? If you start putting out, like if the news will start talking about how to help people, how to, you know, do like more things. Like if you watch documentaries on the computer, most of the people uh, that look, like look at YouTube and other social media as their, their way of information instead of the TV box, we're tired of being programmed by television or you know, television programs, or tell lie to your vision, I'm, I'm going to take that from, um, got the guy's name, it's Kenneth something on YouTube, I'll link him below, awesome dude, um, but what I'm trying to say is, we always focus on the negative, it's like we're supposed to focus on the negative, break it down this way, every time that you talk to somebody about a problem, that problem should only take you 1% of the time that you are talking about it completely. So, say you got 10 minutes. Talk about the problem thoroughly in one minute. One, the first minute, talk about the problem itself. Why is it a problem? How is it affecting everyone negatively? And then move on. The other 99%, I want you to talk to everybody else and figure out the solution. Talk collectively. Talk Talk just to yourself. Just try to write down information on how do I make this better? Talking, that's that's the first step. If you can start talking about the solution, that's great. Um, but I'm going to kind of, I'm not really bashing it, but I am going to bash it a little bit. The people that follow the idea of the Zygonist movement or the Venus Project, which is basically the same thing from my understanding. These people subscribe to this theory, this idea, and they think it is the the best thing to do. They talk about it on the highest level of what our society should be like and how efficient it can run and how happy people would be and, and, and so on and so on. People tell people to watch this so they can also learn more. However, there's the big but, nobody really, out of all the people that subscribe to the theory and the idea, I do not see that many people actually doing it. It's kind of bothers, um, bothersome, annoying, and sad to have this one guy have this awesome idea and that people think it's great yet nobody that follows him actually wants to follow him. You kind of get what I'm saying? You can do this with any idea. Take a problem, write it down, understand it, and then forget it. Work on all the solutions, and then act upon those solutions that you can actually do. Even if you're not going to change the world overnight with just talking to three other people. That might not happen. Everyone thinks that the grass is greener on the other side. That might not be the case. You know, look at, like, take it down to a smaller level. Your backyard garden, if you have one, or you want one. You're probably thinking, I want to grow all these different plants and these different varieties. If only I had, and you stay, if only I had more land, 
or only if I had, you know, somebody to give me more money to buy more land. You're just harping on the negativity and you're not going to go anywhere because now the seeds that you do have, you're not probably going to even put them in the ground to start something. You're just going to hold on to it all because you're afraid that something could come out of it. Talk about it. Look at your garden. Talk about it for 1% of the time as a negative problem. Then the rest, the 99%, talk about how can you make it better. For example, oh, I wish I had more land. I wish I could do this. I wish I could do that. Well, here's the solution and you write them down. Instead of growing it outward, you grow it vertically and upward. You maximize the space. That's why with my seed giveaway, I was promoting the three sisters technique. It's a Native American system with the same concept. You can start making terraces and, and different designs and grow things on things and grow things in things. You do not have to be completely traditional and just think one way is the only way. That makes absolutely no sense. That's what the teachers or instructors in these school systems today, especially in America, are the problem. They are not teaching the children for the future to teach them how to actually think outside the box. They're thinking, I have to read this and that's how it's done. It, nothing is done that way in real life. There's always another way to do something. If you could teach the children how to plant a seed, then you can actually, you know, make them happy about the food that they're growing. The healthier food. They get an understanding of where they're, where they're getting the food from. They save money in the long run because they learn how to do it. And that's the problem is because I think it all comes down to the monetary system. If you like talking about certain things, more about solutions instead of problems, I'm going to ask you to join in on my Wednesday nights at, as of right now, it's Wednesday night, 10 p.m. I'm doing, I'm hosting my own little live Google Plus Hangout. And I'm trying to get as many people as possible so, if you like anything like this, share the ideas. So then we can actually start putting something together where we can start acting upon them. Okay? So seriously, um, I really want to get this to be more proactive and be interactive. I want to talk to you guys. I want to know what you have to say about what is going on. Because I don't know everything. You don't know everything. And my neighbor doesn't know everything. But collectively, we can start thinking of ideas and come up with something that's probably more understandable. Because what I might understand, and the way that I speak, or if I write it out or something, you might not understand it. But somebody else might understand what I'm saying, and then they can further translate it and break it down into something where you understand it. That's where I'm trying to get with this, is that we're all making positive solutions and actually going to act upon them. So, like, subscribe, comment, please. Find me on Google+. Plus. There's a link on, I'm guessing, this side. Um, if you're on my, on my actual page, just click the little Google, uh, the G+, Plus thing. It'll be on there. And uh, request me. I'll put you in on the chats. I think I'm only allowed up to 10 people in every chat room for the live chat. Uh, if you want to be like the vid like on the video part. But you can also be a viewer and you can type in chat and, and write down what you want to talk about topic. So if you don't get in on one week, we can put you in the next week. Or if you just don't want to have your face shown on video, you can just keep talking and we can do whatever. So please like, subscribe, share this. Bring it out there. Let everybody know that we're going to be talking on Wednesdays. Okay? I want to get every single person that we can to actually talk about this. Let's talk about the problems and then let's start seriously talking about the solutions and then we can seriously start doing something about the solutions. Have a good day. See you guys later.